What's up you guys? It's Carla Stevenay and if you click this video, I'm sure you're trying to figure out how, what is these 10 amazing steps to get me the flat tummy that I want quick. Well, keep on watching. So I wrote down a list of the steps so I could stay organized because it's 10 steps. So obviously if I said it on the spot, I'm gonna be unorganized and confused. So <laughs> I'm gonna be looking down. So if you're wondering what I'm looking at, it's my little notepad, Dora the Explorer, handy dandy notebook type stuff. Okay, they're probably like, what? How does she even know Dora the Explorer? Okay, I grew up to Dora the Explorer. Okay, I don't currently watch it. But I do, you know. Okay, anyways. All right, you guys, step number one. Remove junk food from your house. So get rid of any junk food that you have, obviously, and avoid eating it as much as you possibly can, especially if you're serious about this waste, weight loss because that is going to build up fat. And obviously what you wanna do is take that away. So you have abs, right? Right. Try to replace it with nutrient-rich food like fruits, nuts, vegetables, you know? There's whole grains, there's low fat dairy, there's beans, there's so many replacements for it. I'm actually gonna have a lot of reference links down below that you guys can check out with diet plans, um, exercise plans, and all that stuff. So check out those links down below. It's gonna be very handy for you guys. I did some research and I got it all for you all on one video. A, A, A. Okay, step number two. <laughs> Stay focused, motivated, and consistent. Like I said, you need to keep up the consistency. I've been going to the gym since November last year, okay? But I really started going like around May time, but I took a little break of about like four months. I, I went like May, June, July, August, and I stopped for, for like September, October. I went back November and I kept going hard. I've been going to the gym ever since. Consistency is key, okay? You're not gonna have any progress if you don't put in the slightest bit of work. And the least bit of work you can do is at least eliminate junk food from your life, okay? Okay, it's not that hard. And stay consistent and stay motivated and always stay positive, even if you feel like you don't see results because, ooh, ooh because results take time. But if you want that instant flat tummy, what you can do is wear waist trainers underneath your clothes. I know there's also Spanx, and this isn't sponsored or anything, but it really does give you a really nice figure and it makes you look slender. And if you're not going anywhere in particular and you don't have to change or anything, honestly, forget it. Do the do the illusion trick if that's what you wanna do till you feel comfortable while you're working at really getting that flat tummy. Step three, don't just stop eating right once the 10 days is over. You know, you gotta keep on eating right and keep on eating consist consistently right. Uh, like I said, stay positive after the first 10 days because it gets harder, it gets worse. I'm just kidding, no, but seriously it does because at first you have your motivation, but what happens is you feel like you're losing it because you're like, there's not enough progress. And seriously, I'm gonna be honest with you guys, you, there are ways you can have the illusion of a fat, flat tummy very, very fast, or you can lose stomach fat. But to be honest, if you really want your abs to pop, it's going to be have to be something that's consistent. Maybe plan it out and give yourself a little span, you know, three months. Don't give up though, because if you really want it, it will happen with hard work and consistency, I'm telling you. Step number four, do different at-home workouts. Um, like I said, I'm gonna have some links down below for you guys to demonstrate because I'm obviously sitting on the couch with makeup on and a regular outfit. <laughs> totally not even ready for to be working out right now. But like I said, I'm gonna have listed down below some at home workouts you could do, but it is summertime. So just stay very productive and active. You can sprint, you can swim, you can go on the treadmill, you can go on the elliptical. Try to incorporate some of that. Even just walking outside on a hot summer day, it really makes a difference. Even if you feel like you're not doing a hardcore workout. I feel like that's what people hate when they feel like they actually have to work out, but it's convenient, it's summer. So there's a lot of outdoor activities going on. So just stay outdoors and stay active at least. When you are doing at home ab workouts, focus on tightening your abs and tightening your core because that's going to help build up that ab muscle that you want. So really, you feel when you're tightening your muscles in your abs. You know, you just hold your breath, ooh, ooh, you feel it. Like I'm tightening my abs as I said that, ooh, I'm doing it right now again, you know what I'm saying? So, <laughs> you know, keep your core like 
tight, you know, and be sure while you're doing those workouts to, you know, really get those results, tighten the core when you're doing those sit-ups and those crunches, okay? And you also have to remember, I want to throw this in there, that there isn't a certain ab workout that is going to get you a better result or this is going to work better, that's going to work better. You just have to do it all and mix it up and switch it up. And like I said, stay consistent because you will see results. Just like going to the gym, you're not going to do, there's not a special arm machine that works your bicep that's going to work it even better. It all does the same thing, but just switch it up, stay consistent and, you know, be sure to do the right amount of reps and sets and stuff if you this is your first time working out and you're not really hip to that i'll go over it a little bit for you so what i like to do is i like to do three like low sets and i always do i was doing 10 per but now i upped it to 10 12 then 15 and i'll do that three times on every machine then i'll go to the next machine and uh, so forth, but that applies for even at home stuff if you're doing push-ups or sit-ups or crunches I would up the numbers if you're doing sit-ups and crunches. You really can do pretty high numbers um, Well, I'm not gonna say everyone can but you could do higher numbers than a typical muscle machine try to push yourself till Till your limit, but don't overdo it. Okay Crunches old-fashioned sit-ups and sprinting is all great ways of building up and muscle baby step number five so try to focus on losing belly fat so that your abs will show through that's a big deal do not try to just start doing sit-ups and crunches while you still have that belly fat you have to first remove the belly fat and then your abs will show that's why a lot of times a lot of skinny girls naturally have abs because like really really skinny slender girls because they don't have the belly fats they don't have the belly fat so Abs are there. Everyone has abs. Everyone has a set of abs. Everyone has a, like you have a set of arms and a set of legs. We all have abs technically, but not everyone's are visible. So the first step you need to do is get rid of that belly fat. Like I said, I'm gonna have those websites linked down below on how to get rid of belly fat. Um, different at home workouts, different at home um, diets you need to follow. I don't know how many times I have to say it. No matter how un wanting you want to do it, if you really wanted to get that flat tummy, you would do what you gotta do. So do what you gotta do. Number six, this is very, very important. Be sure to always eat breakfast. This jumpstarts your metabolism for the day. That what gets it running. That's what gets it to start burning calories. It gets it to start recycling everything that it needs to get done. So be sure to eat that breakfast so it's kickstarted for the day and it's going all throughout the day. It's already running, it's not slow. So then by the time you eat in the afternoon, the food's just building up and it turns into fat and all this stuff. You need to kickstart that metabolism. In the morning, eat breakfast, try to eat eggs. Um, like I said, whole grain toast, uh, all types of stuff. I'm gonna have links down below for all that. Number seven, of course, drink, a lot of wa drink lots of water. That's very important when being healthy in general. I drink lots of water. It helps everything. It helps your nails, it helps your uh, hair, it helps your skin, and it helps with abs. So drink lots of water. Number eight, stay away from foods high in unhealthy foods fat and carbs okay that contributes to high fat gain and you don't want that fat to go to your belly some people are lucky and their fat goes to the good places like the thighs and the butt so then they get all thick but other people sometimes you're not lucky it goes to your arms and you get arm flab or it goes to your stomach and you don't get arm fat so just try to stay away from high fattening food and stuff with high carbs always check the packaging on every food item you eat and see how much fat percentage is in it and how much of everything is in it you really want to know what is going into your body number nine implement cardio to help lose fat i felt like i've already kind of mentioned that but seriously uh long distance running sprinting swimming riding your bike literally anything that's active and gets you sweating is going to help you because it's cardio so yeah anything that gets you sweating and going is something that you need to be doing to help those abs show through baby girl and then finally, step number 10, you gotta believe in yourself. Believe in you. It all starts in you. It all starts in your head. Your head is what's getting to you feeling like you can't accomplish your goals. Your head is getting to you feeling like, oh, I don't wanna do this. It's all you. So you need to believe in yourself so it can get done. Just like anything in this world, you know what I'm saying? You just gotta have faith and believe in yourself, you know? And that's it. That's your 10 steps. 
uh, follow through I'll have those links listed down below for you guys to help you guys out for diet and exercise ideas if this is your first time ever watching me be sure to click that subscribe button before leaving also throw this video a thumbs up and leave me some video requests down below that's it for this one and I will check you guys in my next video bye what do you mean